Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Fred, and I'm bringing you this really exciting gameplay. I know you guys are gonna love 57 and no flawless, my highest flawless I've ever gotten. And if you didn't notice already, I'm not running any perks or attachments. And the reason for that is any one of you has ever gone for the highest camouflage that you can get on a particular gun, gold, you'll know why. Now, obviously, I'm not running perks or attachments. The reason for that is because I'm going for gold on my PDW. And, you know, you need to get a certain uh, 150 um, kills, no attachments, and 150 kills with no perks. So that's what I did. I tried to knock both of them out at the same time. You know, why get 150 kills with attachments on and no perks and then do the other thing? You know, I just try to knock out both at the same time. I'm sure everyone does. I'm not big genius doing this but you know if, if you'd probably haven't seen that that is pr it's probably better if, if you just try to knock both of them out um this is my best flawless i've ever gotten and i'm really excited that i actually got this gameplay because frankly it's just freaking outstanding i was surprised i didn't die you know i was really hesitant to actually call in my kill streaks when i realized how uh flawless i was going the first time because you know every time i call in a kill streak i have just this oh I this always happens to me you know I call in a killstreak and I always end up dying when I get out of it so luckily I didn't die it was really random that I didn't because I, I always do um I really would have preferred running dogs or any other thing at this point but I don't think I had locked them yet I'm not really sh sure but yeah I'm really happy that I actually did end up going flawless you know I, there's always so much stuff that can get you killed I think the main reason I didn't uh die is because of the fact that NoobTube is an attachment that's kind of difficult to unlock and most people don't actually use it. In fact, I don't think I've ever run into any game where people were using NoobTube. Um, I'm sure everyone already realizes this, that uh, NoobTube, you know, is much more difficult to unlock just like it was back in World War. You actually had to rank up your freaking rifle. Unlike Infinity Ward style of having that preset class, I don't know, but uh, they did that. And I'm so happy that they did. Uh, because you know they don't have there's not have, have you guys got a new tube yet i personally haven't and i'm so glad i haven't and i hope it doesn't start i hope i did not just jinx the whole call of duty universe on wii u by saying that i'm not really sure if there's new tubing going on on ps3 i don't really play it anymore now that i got the wii u version because it's basically the same except wii u is funner because well it is and yeah so i'm really really happy that i got this gameplay and I, obviously i didn't die because of the new tube so yeah, and I'm really happy. Eat your heart out, Cotton Hill, you know. King of the Hill, Hank Hill's father. He always brags about going to the war, killing 50 men. Coming back, missing, you know, got shot in the shins. Smaller now, yeah. Well, guess what? Eat your heart out, Cotton. I killed 57 men. I went to war on a boat, and now I'm commentating about it. 57 people, 7 more than you did. And I'm fine. I... I Maybe I took a little bit of shrapnel here and there, but I'm still fine, and I'm dating this commentary because I... Ah, oh man, I really can't believe I went this flawless, obviously. I have been trying. I actually didn't try this game to go flawless. I didn't try to get any of my air support, really. I was just trying to get kills, and that was the sole objective of this game. And about two games after this, when, uh, because it only took me about four or five games to get this gold, this weapon gold, which was great. Um, I was averaging a certain amount of kills, you know, plus kill streak kills. But yeah, again, I wasn't trying to get my kill streaks. I wasn't trying to go flawless. I was just trying to kill people as often and as much as I could. Try to knock this gold camouflage out of the park, and I ended up going flawless, uh, which is great because you know I don't know about you guys, but when I tr actually try to get a kill streak, it makes the game just horrible for me. You know, I I try to get swarm a lot. And I would become really campy, and it just the game started becoming worse and and not as fun for me. And my KDR started dropping. Versus when I'm just running around, not giving a flying feather of about my KDR or whether I die or not, whether I get my kill streak, I don't care. I just, and, and that's the way I normally play. Obviously, when I'm going for a kill streak, I kind of try to play more carefully. Although once I get the kill streak, I'll just run around and do whatever I can and try to get points like a normal person would <laughs> and uh, and even though like I busted my ass off for, like the whole first round of the game trying to get my kill streak uh, once I get it I just run and gun and I end up getting my kill all my kill streaks again like in within one minute after rushing so 
That's something I definitely recommend you guys try. You know, if you're trying to get your kill streaks, stop playing so carefully. Just run around, and if you get them all, that's great. If you don't, keep trying. It's it's a lot better, and it's a lot more convenient when you get all your kill streaks when you're not even trying. You feel a lot cooler too, because you know, if you're trying for something. Yeah, but I mean, I got two VTOL warships, and honestly, I wasn't trying when I first started this game. And I'm really happy I actually ended up going flawless, and I can't believe that I didn't die. I think I stressed that enough already, but <laughs> yeah, it's just a really good game that I that I had. I always end up killing myself somehow. Um, I actually got my swarm the other day, I ended up killing myself with that. Shit. <laughs> and, and Theater decided to cut it out, too. You know, I get my swarm. A couple 30 seconds afterwards, actually, it decides to cut the recording session. So, uh, fuck theater. Um, anyways. Oh, by the way, I hope I fixed the frame rate problem. I think I may have found the issue. We'll see. I need you guys to give me the, you know, the response. Because I honestly don't really see the frame rate lag. Maybe I'm just used to it. I don't know. I deal with a lot of lag. It's, it's a shame that I hardly ever get four bar games. I think this was actually a four bar game, which is cool. Um, and that really only happens when there's about a thousand people. When I'm playing Domination, the only way I could get four bars, most likely, is if there's a, over a hundred people on that playlist alone. Which I know, for those of you who play PS3, 360, PC, whatever, uh, that's like pff, nothing compared to your consoles. But hey, hey. I'm not gonna judge the fact that Xbox is full of little kids. I know people always say that Wii is full of little kids, but I'm pretty sure if you do just a little search of kid and Xbox gets you thousands of results versus the Wii version of kid and Wii, uh, probably not as much results. Just saying. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know how I transitioned to that little segment, but I, again, yeah, if you want to do good, my main tip, if you want to do good, is just run around and try to do good, you know? Capture objectives, kill people, fuck thinking about killstreaks, fuck thinking about going flawless or whatever or whatnot. Don't think about getting a gameplay, don't think about anything. I mean, obviously, at some point in this video, when I'm going flawless, I'm realizing to myself, holy shit, if I go flawless this game... That's gonna be a great gameplay. You know, after obviously, after I get my first kill streak, I'm thinking, hey, if I get all my kill streaks, I'm gonna do very well this game. So obviously, but you're uh, well, at some point or another, you're gonna think to yourself, you need to, you need to actually like place yourself in a very good position in the map and try to get all your kill streaks and you know focus on getting this great gameplay that you have in your head set to be just amazing. Obviously, though, if you start the game like that. You could obviously get a great gameplay, but you know, it's a lot funner when you end up getting it by surprise. So I definitely recommend for you just to run around, and if you get an awesome gameplay, that's great, that's fantastic. It was a nice, happy surprise. Merry early Christmas to you. And, you know, if, if you try though, for me personally, every little death kind of kills me a little inside when I'm actually trying to get my kill streaks. So again, I definitely recommend just play for fun, have fun, you're gonna freaking kick ass. That's the final word from me and I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and if you want to see more flawlesses well let's just hope I don't die um, I still got other awesome gameplays I got so if you guys want to stay tuned and check them out when they're out go ahead and subscribe anyways I really appreciate you guys watching this video and see you later